next artist to, I'd like to bring up is Jose Elias. Jose Elias uh, showed his work here uh, a couple of years ago, when actually after graduated from Fresno State, uh, and um, just a, a very compelling story, and just you know, a, a, a farm worker, someone working with land and, and inspired by art, continuing to make art and, and honor the workers through the work and now teaching art. He came through here with his uh, college art class. Uh, they actually had a class here at Arte Americas and a supporter of what we're doing here as well as inspiring uh, new artists. And it was, uh, they're, they're from uh, Colinga and inspired these students to make that drive. I don't even think they got really extra credit for it. They just came out here because they wanted to, which was awesome. So even more amazing when students come because they want to, not because they're getting extra credit, but also they're inspired by their professors. So ladies and gentlemen, Jose Elias. Hello, uh, thank you. Thank you to everybody for, for being here. Uh, it's my, my full name is uh, Jose Jesus Elias. That's my full name. Actually, I was born and raised in, in Mexico. I came here when I was, I'm say, from 18. And, but actually, I always love to, to draw science, maybe six, sixth grade, maybe, I'm gonna say. Uh, and but uh, something that I really I'm say that really inspired me about my art and say my subject when I graduated from Fresno State it was uh, the uh, the uh, I'm say the experience of crossing the border that's something that actually I use for my for my partial, for my thesis. And so, um, but also something that I really love also to uh, represent all my pieces is about the uh, farm workers. I used to work in the fields, even though when I was still going to Fresno State, I used to work in the summers for, and in the fields. Uh, and actually in Mexico, I never worked in the fields. I was more like from, from the city. I'm from Guanajuato. I'm from San Miguel, which is a really, uh, let me say, it's a full of a, uh, full of art. Uh, and so uh, now I'm, I'm teaching art for 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 the, for the community college. And so, but also something that I love to present on my pieces is uh, about my culture. I don't know. I love to uh, I love to draw and paint figures. I love to take photographs of people, especially on the streets, on the markets, uh, and that's what I try to also to represent all of my pieces. So, uh, some of my pieces they are usually most of them they, they were on, on color, using I mean oil paint, but something that I just tried to work on something different. It was using uh, charcoal on canvas. So that's, uh, again, something new from the last four years. And I love it. I love the way how, I don't know, it takes time. But uh, to me, it's something, to me, it's something new. I don't know if like, somebody else is doing this, but I mean, at least uh, I try to find something different or to, uh, to experiment to, but also to, to, uh, to see the difference in between color and then black and white. Uh, and so that's, that's, that's what I love to do. I love me, again, besides, besides teaching, uh, I love to, to exhibit my, my, my pieces. Now, this is maybe my third or fourth time uh, showing here for Arte Americas. I'm from, I live in, in Madeira. And I'm going to say I'm going to keep maybe doing the same thing. I mean, well, I'm still using charcoals. Uh, so I don't know, but maybe that's, that's all. I don't know if you have any questions. But. Why are you so awesome? <laughs> 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 We do this because a lot of times the artists, when you're here, they're not going to come up and tell you. They're standing in front of their amazing piece, and they won't say, hey, by the way, I did this. You know, so they, 
So this way, they've been exposed. I've said, aha, this is who it is. See, any of you have not seen Jose Elias's work in the small gallery space in here. And uh, on top of that, because I have various artists who come in who do charcoal uh, work and they've been you know, blown away. So go and check that out and talk to him more about it. Since we are in mural mode here, I'm gonna. We have these young artists. I'll have all oh, you guys come. There's three of you here, right? There's four total. But these um, Gerardo Ramirez, uh, Edgar Ruiz, Andres, uh, and Manuel. We have a couple of these guys here, Gerardo and Edgar, right? And so these guys came to us by way of another local muralist named Mauro Carrera. I'm not sure if you know Mauro. Mauro has worked with, uh, with us here at Arte Americas. Is a, so he was an up-and-coming muralist. He's already doing murals everywhere. And he uh, was working with these young men. He came and said, hey, they, they got these students that are from Madera Community College. They want to do some live art here. I think it was during Art Hop. It's like, okay, they're coming through Mauro. Okay, everyone, are they pretty good? Yeah, they're pretty good, all right. So they came and they started working on their piece. And it started totally taking shape and looking amazing, and people were totally into it. So we had a spot in the front of the building, asked them if they wanted to continue, and said they did. So these guys, uh, they're doing a, they do a little small documentary about them. They're uh, inspiring other artists, and I'd like to uh, introduce you to these young men. So who wants to head out of them? Head out of this probably going to talk. So, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this, our reception. I'm Gerardo Ramirez and this is Edgar Ruiz. Um, two of the guys that helped us paint the mural on the front, um, they couldn't come, they, they got busy. And the mural that we did was a double tick sculpture that's in the front, right here, in, by the door. And something that inspired us would be our culture itself. Um, when Mauro hit us up, he, saw, he asked us, uh, they want to paint a, a live painting here at Arte America and we never done something like that. It's something new for us. And he said, yeah, we'll take the challenge. So he came and models helped us set up our our, um, our canvas, which was um, uh, two pieces of wood, eight, eight by four, and we combined them to make one. Um, the sculpture that we picked was a Zapotec sculpture from Oaxaca, and the reason we picked that was we're in the process of selecting what to paint. We didn't know what to do. We were thinking of doing something like something that represented our culture. We are going to do something Aztec, but then a lot of people would paint Aztec sculptures, and we wanted to change something. We wanted to use from our roots, from Oaxaca, and we were scrolling through Google Images and we found this nice sculpture from the Zapotec um, region and that's how we started. We started with the outline and the rest just went through it. And while we were painting here at Art Hop, we decided to, to like add a moon from the Virgen de Guadalupe. And from there, we one of our friends, um, his name is Andres McCloy, he, he's good in the calligraphy styles and he got inspired by some other calligraphy um, LA and from the valley. Um, really one of them is Retina and the other one is Big Sleeps. And we're thinking of writing, we'll do it on the top of the painting, but later on he just wanted to do something freestyle and just combined both of their works and just did it all freestyle right there. Something that kind of amazed us from this work. And 
Like Frank already said, we're from Madeira. And I was born in Fresno, but came back to do a work right here. And then, I'm from Madeira. So, um, <laughs> okay, so at first, we didn't really know, like, we were going to end up here really that fast because yeah. our little group just started, um, like, but then after high school. And so we didn't even know we, um, all of us knew, um, we didn't, all of us didn't think we, um, we, we, we to yeah, to this, to this point, like, um, just, just through random, I guess, random luck and connections we got here. Not, not, now we're like, like, other people are just like, wow, how'd you do this? And so we're just honored here to like be part of this. It's um, something really special to us. And we're, we're um, still hoping to like, get other, other like, things like, we see this more as a, as a little job now. <laughs> um, the next question was, what, what is the next for you in terms of art? Or especially when we say us, um, we come here for our hub like every month, and we meet new people. We and we show them their the piece that we have here and other pieces that we have personal, and we start networking with them. We got commissions from other people, and they wanted to do collaborations with them, and I liked how it all flows with with art and. Um, I would like to thank Mauro Carrera, who was kind of like our mentor. We started painting a, a mural for there, like a wildfire, mm -hmm. just started going. We went to Merced, how um, the Merced people paint a mural in in their um, city, and then from here we came to Fresno. Um, we've been in Madero looking for places to paint um, businesses or are not really into the mural, or it's more of fear with the city, I guess. Um, we gone to many businesses in Madeira, and most of them are asking about citations and everything, so it was hard finding a mural in Madeira. That's why we came to Fresno, and that's where the art city is for us right now. Um, we did get some commissions in Madeira, but it's more for like their business inside. We done one, we're doing one for a church right now, and so one we're working on recently. And we also got another commission for a business where I work, and working forward for that. I'd like to thank Dana for helping us find a place to paint and show the our talent. For in the future, like almost started, we want, we want to keep going and keep art alive, keep spreading. <laughs> I'd also like to thank Frank um, for helping us get started too and spread. When you meet artists who are just good people, you know what I mean? You just have to like support that. It's really that's really the deal. These guys were coming after class and they came one time and, and they had gone to one of their friends' track meets, right? They came after their friend, they'd gone to go and root their friend on, then came to come and paint their painting. Like you got that's awesome, you know. I just realize what a horrible friend I am every time I meet people like that. <laughs>